This is Alan Weinkrantz for the Rackspace Startups Program. Before I get into this discussion, I want to give you a little bit of backstory because I know a friend of mine that you also work with. His name is Ingon Landenberg. And two years ago, I was sitting in Austin, Texas, uh, in this restaurant eating fried Oreos with ice cream and nachos. Not something we eat very often you here in this room. <laughs> I do because it was so it was so off the wall. But of course, I'm with Ingon, and so. Um, I remember him telling me he had this vision for a company and he said he, met, he meets great entrepreneurs all the time who wanted to start businesses and he had this idea, he called it a small factory for big ideas. And here we are almost two years later, I'm here with Andy Rahm. Andy, you're the first company that's really been incubating at small factory big ideas. How about a little bit of background about you personally, then we'll get into the business wow. part. What a story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a professional tennis player. I retired last year. Um, that's what I do. In the last 30 years, I've played tennis since I was five. Traveling all over the world, playing professional, uh, winning Grand Slams and at the highest level. Last year, I decided to retire. And sitting home for a few months, deciding what I want to do. I knew for sure I didn't want to go and coach tennis. I didn't want to travel again like for eight months here with professional players and thinking a lot, coming with lots of offers, people offer me many things um, until I got this phone call from Inno Landenberg, your friend. Yeah. And saying, Andy, I have this idea, I have two friends, they fight, they fought over the score in squash and they were arguing, 5-4, no it was 3-4, it was 5-4, it was 3-4 and they argued, I said, why wouldn't I do a score kicking for squash? And Right away, I said, wait, 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 I like the idea a lot, but why don't we do it for tennis? Uh, it's a bigger sport. Uh, it's the same problem. People are fighting over the score. They forget the score. Mm -hmm. They are focusing too much on the game, and they tend to forget the score. And so let's take it to tennis, and we can do it for ping pong. We can do it for other sports. And then I love the idea. I fell in love with Inon, which is a great guy, a great inspiration for me. Now I've been working with him the last year, learning a lot from him. He's coming from all the technology side, all this industry, I'm coming from the sports, from the tennis, so together we are the perfect match, combined like, uh, I used to play doubles, I was a double specialist, the best thing I did in doubles was picking a good partner, Yeah, I think so now that's what, I, the best thing I did, so picking a good partner, and this is the first secret of, um, of a success, <laughs> a good partner, so you got, so, so you've got Pulse Play, you created an Indiegogo program. I followed it. It was like amazing. It was, uh, yeah, so uh, first of all, when we came up with Pulse Play as a scorekeeping for sports player, for uh, racket sports, uh, we're trying to create a scorekeeping. And another problem we have with tennis or other sports is like, it's tough to find players that you're able to play with. And one of the things we wanted to create is like a big community. A big community of tennis players, ping pong players, squash players. When I'm gonna go and travel for vacation, club med or anywhere, I can find somebody at my level to play with. It's a big problem um, that tennis players have and all racket sports. So this is the second thing we are coming with. And to support this idea, we came up with an Indigo campaign, uh, which was very successful. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It was a very successful campaign because of our marketing people. And we have Natalie Edwards with us, which is an unbelievable, yeah, great, yeah, great, great woman, the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey Natalie, uh, hey Natalie. <laughs> and we did a great campaign. We put up a goal of seventy-five thousand dollars. We passed it. We almost got to almost hundred thousand. Right. People like the idea. People believe in us in the team. And uh, yes, now we have to produce it. Uh, because of Indiegogo, we got a lot of, lots of uh, reactions from all over the world. We got lots of uh, articles and, and lots of people approach us with this. Uh, they want to be involved with the past play. They want to be part of it. And it's going to be a big hit, I believe. Uh, it's something new. Um, we're adding some technology into tennis, into sports. Um, it's something that's going to help kids, going to help uh, adults, it's going to help everybody. It's going to just improve. Um, not just your tennis skills, your sports skills. It's gonna help you doing sports. It's gonna help you go out there and play. It's gonna bring more fun to, to the game. And uh, this is something we're trying to do. We're trying to motivate people to do more sports. You know, the wearables market obviously is just exploding in, in all kinds of different areas. 
where is it that you think wearables can help, be it with Pulse Play or really any kind, you know, uh, people are using Fitbits or all kinds of different devices. What is it about this technology? What does it do? Well, you know what, uh, the generation, these days, the generation, the kids, um, this is the, I don't know how to call it, it's the iPad kids or the technology kids. Yeah. The people, kids are sitting at home doing nothing. They don't do sports. When I grew up, when I was a kid and even before me, the old generation, um, they used to go out and play with the ball. Doesn't matter if it's soccer, they used to run, they used to play catching each other. Right, when it, but yeah. they, they were outside, they were playing games, they, they weren't like all day on the computer. Something today when you see the wearables, if it's a Fitbit, if it's going to be pulse play, it's going to encourage people to go and play and do sports outside. And I think this is the main idea, this is the biggest thing. Uh, I'm a sportsman, at the end of them, I'm, that's what I do since I was five. And, uh, I see my kids going, like three kids now, sitting at home and they're most of the day on the computer. My fight is like to try and motivate them to go out there and do sports. I think Pulse Play, like other devices, it's a big, uh, it's a big tool like, to help them, to motivate them to go and do some sports. If it's tennis, if it's ping pong, squash, badminton or any other sports. I just want people to do more sports. I think it's very important for the health, for everything. Um, I mean, computer is part of us, so yeah. if we can combine sports with the technology with computer like people at the end of the day they're gonna go on the computer they're gonna see the results they're gonna see like uh, they compete with their friends i think uh, it's something that gonna motivate them to do sports and combine it with the technology that's uh, that's the whole idea of pulse play basically okay you know you've you've had this amazing career uh, i mean it took you Luckily. A, yeah no but a lot of hard work what can entrepreneurs learn from you? Because you're, in some ways, you're starting over yourself. I mean, you're having to reinvent well, yourself. And, and you, know, you, you know, it's nice to see your Indiegogo campaign, but, you know, you've got to still, you know, build your community. You've got to get the content out there. You've got to work with your manufacturer. You've got to promote your company. What have you learned? Well, I mean, here you are so used to being Andy Rahm, this famous, you know, uh, I learn from them actually, from the entrepreneurs. I mean, their passion to what they do, and I'm learning every day about technology from my people I'm working with at SFBI. Yeah. If it's Inon or the team he's leading, I'm learning every day. The things I'm bringing, the things I can take, or I can learn, I can teach others. I think it's things that I, I grew up since I was five. The things that are built in in my system is like working hard. It's something that no matter what startup, no matter what entrepreneur, you have to work hard. You, you can't give up. There are highs and lows, you always go up and down. It's a startup. Uh, there's never like some startup that's only going up. You need to be strong in those moments. Uh, you need dedication to what you do. You need the passion. You need to love what you do. And the things that I grew up playing sports and doing like the best results uh, in tennis, I think the same things I can take into startup. And it doesn't matter if it's technology, if it's a real estate, no matter what kind of a job you do. There are things that you have to do. You have to work hard and uh, to love what you do. I think this is the, the main thing. And obviously in past play, I do something that I love, something that I understand a lot. Tennis is my field. So the part of technology, I'm still learning. Uh, up until last year, I didn't have Facebook. And suddenly I'm like, uh, you know, I'm calling me the king of Facebook now. Yeah. <laughs> is that too I might call him yeah. like, if he needs help. Um, so I'm learning. Every day I'm learning. And I'm not afraid of challenges. This is something that I would never... Uh, I was never afraid when I played tennis. I had big challenges, big stages to play with uh, against tough players. If it's Federer and Nadal, Djokovic, uh, I was always there to compete. And I know if I work hard, I'm ready to, to succeed in anything I do. Okay, so right now you're looking at uh, getting your first initial shipments in January, February? In, uh, in January. In January we're going to send the first uh, shipment of uh, past play watches to the people bought on Indiegogo. Okay. S later it's going to be out on shelves and uh, yeah, soon, beginning of next year, uh, everybody will be able to, to get past play. Yeah, Good, that's exciting. Cool. Yeah. Very exciting, very inspirational. Thank you for your time, your insights. Thank you. I think Thanks. You know, one big lesson I've learned just in listening to you speak is all this technology is great, but nothing will ever replace hard work, loyalty, dedication, focus. Exactly. And I think we, we as entrepreneurs and startups, there's a lot to learn from people like you. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. This is Alan Whitecrans with the Rackspace Startups Program, signing off with Andy Rahm.